On the night of June 3, 1991, 23-year-old Denise Huber was driving home from a concert when she got a flat tire just minutes from her destination. She never made it home. Despite relentless efforts, no information turned up to solve Denise's disappearance, and the case went cold for over three years. That is, until a woman 350 miles away needed to buy some paint. On July 13, 1994, Elaine Court went to the Arizona home of painter John Famalero. When she arrived, she immediately got goosebumps, and the huge moving truck on his property made her uneasy. She contacted a detective, who discovered the truck had been stolen. When police arrived, they noticed an extension cord leading from Fumalero's house to the truck, powering a padlocked freezer. In it, they were horrified to discover the naked body of a woman, who was later identified to be Denise Huber. She had been assaulted and bludgeoned with a nail remover over 31 times. Fumalero was found guilty of first-degree murder, and sentenced to death.